Paul Bennett at Down East Thunder Creations here in Millbridge, Maine, right along the Bull Coast. And uh, this week it's not going to be an extensive video. Uh, I'm not doing a big build. It's about 8 degrees right now here in the shop because the shop's unheated. And uh, also I'm going to put this up on my, uh, my YouTube channel a little bit early. I usually post videos every Friday. I'm going to be a couple of days early because um, the holidays are over and my daughter has to go back to college uh, to start her second semester so I'll be taking her out to the Midwest so that's going to be a bit of a trip and it looks like we're going to run into some heavy duty snow and it might take me a well, I might get held up a couple of days coming back so there's a possibility that the following week there may not be a video but that's the reason if, uh, if I don't have one posted so this week um, I'm making, I'm going to show you how I make my bump stops for my X-Carve machine. And this is the one that I made. I made a couple of them, make them in pairs. And this one's out of pine. And this is a, a shorter one than what I had made previously. This one I made some time ago. I made a pair of these in MDF and I started using them right away. I didn't even bother to finish them. They're still a little bit rough with the fuzzies. But I wanted a shot a pair to get into tighter places, but they're still adjustable. So I made these out of pine. Uh, they, they clean up nice. And, um, and again, I made it with the X-Carve. And it's for the X-Carve. But you can still make these with uh, conventional tools. And that might even be faster than using the X-Carve. So I'm going to include a drawing that you can download free as a PDF if you want to do it that way in both imperial and metric dimensions. And uh, these come in handy. Uh, sometimes it's just a lot faster and easier to use than the hold down clamps that come with the X-Carve. It's a nice tool to have. Uh, you have a couple of pairs of these and you just keep them in your toolbox and so whenever you're using your X-Carve you have uh, a greater variety of things to help hold down material. And it just makes life easier, it makes it faster. So that's what this week's uh, video is about. I'm freezing my butt off right now. Uh, I did when I put this in the machine. I uh, I went and I I uh, I pretty much stayed in the house. I just once the machine was set up and running, I just came out every now and then to check on it and uh, roll a few seconds of, of video. So, uh, but I'm not going to make you sit through the whole thing. It takes about almost an hour to take to set this up and and carve the two pieces out. But uh, you're only going to see a few seconds of it. I'm not going to make you sit through it because it's, it's pretty boring watching uh, an X-Carve router cut wood out. But that's this week's video. Um, I hope that those of you with CNC machines uh, will get some use out of this uh, because you could use this for other CNC machines, not just X-Carve. And uh, I don't know what the next video is going to be yet. It depends on when I get back. Uh, from delivering my daughter to Hogwarts or whatever it is she's going to. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the exact name of the college for security reasons, but uh, which I think you can understand. But please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. These are the uh, bump stops that I made from uh, MDF and I didn't clean them up so they're still a little bit rough. but just for the shop they work just fine and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make another pair of bump stops only a little bit smaller and instead of MDF I'm making them out of pine and uh, but you can see how these work and how convenient they can be 